Today I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. I want to show you what is, to my knowledge, a new way of figuring out VFR weather minimums for a particular type of airspace. What we're going to do is we're going to do this using a flowchart. There are four questions that you have to ask yourself, uh, secretly five. Uh, and we're going to start out by writing those on the left. Uh, the questions are, are you above 10,000 feet? Are you in class golf airspace? Is it the daytime? And are you below 1200 feet AGL? Those are the four questions you have to ask. And if you know that, or excuse me, if you know the answers to those, you can do quite a lot. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to put in some visibilities. Uh, 5 miles visibility, 3 miles visibility, 3 miles visibility, 1 mile visibility, and 1 mile visibility. Uh, along with the 5, we're going to put in 1, 1, and 1, because anytime the visibility requirements are 5, <coughs> we need to use 1, 1, and 1. Uh, for 3, we'll add 3 statute miles, and for 1, we'll add 1 statute mile because visibility is always measured in statute miles. And there's one other question that we have to ask. Uh, are you in class Bravo? With these five questions and um, a little bit of information, a little bit of thinking actually I should say, uh, you can figure out some pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's add a little bit more detail in here. One, five, two, and let's also add uh, clear of clouds. Alright, and with this we can uh, start drawing lines. So we'll draw some green arrows going on here. Uh, we'll draw some red arrows here. Uh, we've got a red arrow here, here, and here. We've got a green arrow here, here, and here. And we'll get some probably a green arrow here red arrow here and we'll get some gray arrows as well there we go alright I realize that uh, I just did a bunch of drawing without too much explanation but what we've got here is we've got a really cool VFR weather minimums flowchart Let's see how it works. Suppose that uh, you happen to be flying and you're in, say, class, um, well, let's pick an easy one to start out with. Let's say you're in class Charlie airspace at uh, 4,000 feet. You're in class Charlie. So you begin at the top left corner and you say to yourself, am I above 10,000? Well, no, obviously I'm not. Am I in class golf airspace? Well, no, obviously I'm not. So your visibility is going to be three miles. And am I in class Bravo airspace? Well, no, I'm not. Your cloud clearance is going to be 1,500 and 2,000. Pretty simple. Uh, it's, it's not terribly difficult. Let's try it again. Let's do a harder one this time. Let's say that you're in class uh, Echo at, um, oh, say, 3,000 AGL, and it's night. All right. Are you above 10,000? Well, no. Are you in class golf? <coughs> well, no. So your uh, visibility is going to be three miles. And are you in class Bravo? Well, no, you're not. One, five, and two again. Pretty simple. Um, that one actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Okay, let's pick a let's pick a harder one. Let's say you're in class golf, and uh, you happen to be at uh, seven thousand AGL, and it's the uh, Nighttime. All right. You above ten thousand? Well, no. Are you in class golf? Yes. Is it the daytime? Well, no. All right. Three miles, and one five two again. Huh. All right. Well, that was again pretty easy. All right. Let's do it one more time. What if you're in uh, class golf during the day at uh, seven hundred AGL? Well, are you above 10,000? No. Class golf? Yes. During the day? Yes. Below 1,200 AGL? Well, yes. 
one mile, clear clouds. Hey, pretty cool. It works. And for every pre, um, well, for pretty much every airspace I've tested, uh, this flowchart has worked every time. If there is a way that I've missed, if there's any any particular type of airspace that I've missed that this uh, flowchart does not work with, I haven't found it yet. If you do find one, let me know. But otherwise, uh, this is, as far as I can tell, this is a pretty good checklist. Excuse me, a pretty good flowchart for determining. Um, what your visibility and your cloud clearance requirements are for really any given type of airspace. I may make this up as a PDF and publish it somewhere. If so, there should be a link in the video somewhere. That's about it.